Let's get miniature! We made a miniature world. Wow, your friend! No more. Where's that super armor killing machine again? Hey, Roderick, great to see you, man! Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> you're just a piece of plastic. I, I know, I know. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. We're getting slaughtered down here. The project today is going to start from my bits box and as a modeler you should definitely have this stuff. It's just bits and bobs I've found, pieces of model kits, you know, all kinds of junk, uh, interesting looking junk that you just uh, save in a box like this and you can use it for all kinds of projects. And this is going to be perfect for our uh, sci-fi junk piles. Oh. Hey there, good to see you. Uh, today we're going to be using aluminum foil in our craft, so let's hit the table and I'll show you how we can use this as a time saver in our craft today. Now that I've procured our aluminum foil, we're going to use this for the base of the project. That's right, we're going to use it for the base. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sheet of this and we're going to crinkle it up and ball it up and wad it up, but we're going to shape it into like a mound, okay? And the cool thing about the foil is as you compact it, it gets harder and you don't have to do anything else to the base. You just end up with a nice compact base that will hold up on its own without doing any other technique to it. I've got a bunch of junk from my bits box. I've kind of scuffed it up a bit. You know, you can take a uh, pliers and, you know, crack it or, you know, mangle it a bit uh, so it'll look nice. You can take uh, wire snips to make uh, cuts into it. So nice way to do that. And as always, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun on this, just super simple. So I'll just start hot gluing these pieces onto the base uh, until I get a nice configuration that looks, you know, looks good. It seems weird that you would say that, that you uh, <laughs> would have junk that you, you know, looks aesthetically pleasing essentially. But that's what you're going for. You're going for a look that covers the base but gives you a nice look as far as the pieces applied to the base. So take your time and uh, think about this a little bit as you apply the pieces. Got all this done. This was so quick to make with the hot glue gun and the aluminum foil. Uh, and I really like how that came out. I'm just going to make a bunch more so I'll have enough uh, when I have my sci-fi games as junk piles. And there you go. Just so simple and easy. To get this nice old scrap metal look, I'm going to use this uh, hammered forged hammered rust-oleum spray uh, and it gives a really nice look. It gives us kind of a dull aluminum uh, but it has um, variations in the color and texture when you spray it on so it uh, really works for these junk piles. You can see that there in the close-up. The variation in color and the density of the paint. Another easy way to add some weathering is using some black spray paint and I kind of flick it on, uh, basically trip the trigger just a bit, just sputter it. You want to get like kind of a sputtery effect. You don't want to hit it very hard. Just kind of flick, flick, flick on the trigger and uh, you can get some really nice effect there. Be careful you don't put too much on. An alternative to the black spray paint is to use this color shifting uh, paint from Plaid and I really love it. It's, this is black color shift and as I put this on the plate you can see that when I move the plate, the white plate, you can see the colors shift. So this stuff is great for like, you know, uh, discoloration or corrosion or just plain old dirt on the surface. So if you don't really want to use that color flick method with the spray paint, or you could combine it, uh, you can use this stuff and it really gives a great look uh, without having to use a bunch of different colors of paint. We have our finished base all spray painted and I'm going to use this color shifting paint. So I'll just kind of water it down a little bit and I'm not quite doing a wash with it, but it is watered down and I'm hitting certain areas stronger than others. So it really gives a nice kind of varied appearance on this. You don't want, I think it's better than just doing a total wash uh, over the whole surface. I think it looks better if you just kind of dab it on like this with the brush and just hit certain areas. And uh, when you hold it up and look at it, the color shift is just fantastic. It looks really good uh, and makes it look like an old junk pile. 